wrong. You seem to have something on your mind. Did you dream about something last night? Is that even possible? Unless... It wasn't an ordinary dream? Oh, child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours! And our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where child went? Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners! Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons! What's the plan for today? Let's go! It's time to start working. If that guard Fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a-wasted. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. Speed. But after so many shifts, it seems we're really getting the hang of it now. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Oh, hey there! We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman, Grainville, always calls me Chief. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. Alright, Chief. We'll be sure to come to you first. Did you just ask about... the rules? <laughs> pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? Hmm... Alright. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me Chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Truth is, you two keep working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. 
If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you, now would I? You mean, even you have never tried working three days like that before? There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day, he disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. What the? How could that happen? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Wait, are you thinking that it was... Oh? You... Uh, listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? <sighs> Alright, if you insist. Knowing child, he must have been there all the time. Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> but we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Okay. Great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. But the second you mess up the order, you'll lose. Game over. The game costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Thanks for your patronage, mate. Now, let the game begin!
Not bad. Not bad at all. Here, the coupons you won. Be sure not to lose them. productive day. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. Oh, the dawn of a new day. My mom feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do you have planned for us? Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a wasting. Oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Sh sure! Let's just say we really want to test our limits. Okay, let's keep it up! Ooh, Paimon's had it! Who knew that processing these widgets would be so tiring? it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? Day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already! Paimon wonders what we'll get today! Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal! Wait! What? Rowan was talking about? No, stop right there. Paimon gets what you mean. Just don't say it. Hey, isn't that Woolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it. Hey, Woolsey, have a moment? Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, it's about the meat in our 
meals. Look, does it seem normal to you? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and chow down. Uh, how could this be fun? Hey, don't leave! You barely even look at it! Hey! Ugh, what should we do now? Wolsey wouldn't even give us the time of day. <gasps> Is he trying to hide something? <laughs> yeah, looks like we have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's lost her appetite. What would you like to do this afternoon? Since we have time now, let's focus on investigating some more. Oh, he hello. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. No need to be so nervous. Sorry, I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Uh... Well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Well, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. What? P please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time. But it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget... This is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! Sijuin? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Hello, traveler. Paimon? Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Enjoy? Oh, uh, what's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone, Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Uh... Are you talking about pets or people? Oh... I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Wait! Melazines can see that? Huh. That does sound useful for being a nurse! <sighs> yes. Running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Take care of your body, and make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work, and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. 
No need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. Listen, I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. Huh? No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward after all. But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. <sighs> Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of his grace. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Just like His Grace said, paying attention to every little detail is the key to prosperity. Hmm, maybe this is the true meaning of rebirth, not just earning credit coupons. I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major, I think I just pulled something. A little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? Huh. Paimon wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch, and nobody knows where Siegewing gets off to. Huh. That's actually really strange. Siegewing's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? <sighs> Forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. A research notebook. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Sea Dream? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick. The Melisee perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Ooh, this all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. And as for the notebook, let's take it. You want to stop investigating and go rest? Okay, you should rest up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. So after working a few days straight, we got some strange meat in our lunch. What was that all about? Hmm... Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? Really? <sighs> and it looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. 
mind for us. After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Maybe we'll be able to find some leads there. Oh, back for another try? I hope you brought enough credit coupons this time. All right, then get ready to play. Okay, do your best to hit the targets, just like Colin said! Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. Now I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official fights. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. But we don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we could probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? What? I... <sighs> Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. Uh, might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh, is it that serious? Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. So the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight, but if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? 
away. And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died, or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. In his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. So you mean, it's like, a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? No, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, do you think that boxer was... Huh? We will? You're not serious, are you? Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. Oh, looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. now. What would you like to do this afternoon? Sure! If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time at the pancreation ring. Hmm? Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. Who are the boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the Eastern Prison Block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Anyway, this match, 
I recommend that you pick... Huh? Uh, for both fighters? Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. You see... Oh, no need, no need. Um, we're aware that we're going to lose coupons. All right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupons. so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. Huh? A package? For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? Ah, Paimon's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? Alright! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers! Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! Ah! Huh? What is it? Are you okay? Let Paimon take a peek, too. Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... Alright, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. No way! Get that stuff away from Paimon! Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? What do you have planned for us? slack off a little, less work means less coupons! Let's make the most of our morning! After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. 
but doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Oh, Paimon still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? Really? Oh, then it looks like that part of the investigation led us nowhere. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> Paimon didn't think this prison would have so... many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. Isn't that V-Doc over there? Huh. Is it just Paimon or are there fewer people than usual here today? Ah. Uh, seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. Impressive. Very impressive. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm. If that's what you want to know, I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. Something even more terrible? Like what? A group of cannibals. Cannibals? In the Fortress of Meripede? Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. But what's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Uh, Paimon might already know what you mean by other forms. So that's what's going on here. Oh, Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I've got things to do too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Oh, so that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Oh, when will all 
a secret to end. She dozes off. Paimon's worried something might happen if you go alone. Huh? Traveler? Did you fall asleep already? the Paimon? Well, what did you see this time? Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened! But, what about the cannibals? How do you explain them? Okay, well it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. I know you. You were the ones we saw. Huh. You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. What you say? Yeah, so what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. Rumors anyway. What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what Boss said when he left? Hey, do you know our boss? Oh, we had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. So, did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So, unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that... Hmm... All right. I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Wow! Those dreams of 
figures sure come in handy. We gave him the business for a while and would always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Meripede. But here in the Fortress, the strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. You could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. So, we got to work, and used the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow, it sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. But, has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. It leads to an abandoned factory area, and even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But Boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. And that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for night time on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Yeah, but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. It's one thing we know for sure. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. All right. Keep quiet and follow us. The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back, hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. Really? Then have him come investigate, pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going! Whew. We finally learned some key information! Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off! When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, right? If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremine help us! Ugh... Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure! Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, I'm on starting to feel super sleepy. Oh, let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, Traveler! <laughs> <laughs>